Okay, so yesterday I started printing out a new base for my Pi 400. And this is thanks to Tupman Kalanx on YouTube, and I'll put a link in the description. And also I'll put this link on printables if you want to do it yourself. Uh, but this part I think took about three and a half hours to print. And this part took, I think it was about nine hours. Uh, it, it is a big unit and uh, it's pretty heavy. Uh, it's, it's much bigger than anything else I've 3D printed before. But it got me thinking about how much the electricity costs to be able to print that out. So I've got a Pi 4 connected to a smart plug which I use for remote use so I can switch it on from wherever I am and access my home network. If I just switch it on now, so you can see this one says smart monitor. And then if I switch over to the other app, this will show how much power. So currently zero, you can see it's gone up to 3.04 watts. So a Pi doesn't use very much power at all. But I'm going to switch that off and see how much my 3D printer costs to run. So let's shut this down safely. Just log in. And I usually shut this down with terminal because uh, for some reason it doesn't like me shutting down with a normal bit. Right, so that's switched off now. So I can turn off my smart plug. In fact, let's just check that it's using no power. So you can see it's going down in power. Yeah, that'll be off by now. So let's switch that off. We go back in. It's down to zero. And here is the smart plug ready to be plugged into my 3D printer. So the two bits I've done so far are the IO shield and also the bottom left. So I need the bottom right part now. Uh, so if I open up the Allegoo software for my printer, I've got a Neptune 2. And I'm looking for bottom right here. So you can see bottom right is this one. So let's open that up. And if I hit slice, you can see it says eight hours and 45 minutes uh, it's 68 grams. So I'm going to save that as a file that my printer recognizes. And I'm going to save it straight to the SD card. And that's done. So if we do open folder, you can see it in there. So let's grab the SD card out of my little Melee Mini PC and pop it into my printer. Switch on. So I've plugged the printer into my smart plug and let's switch that on and hit print and you can see the only thing that's on the SD card and confirm and once it's warmed up that will start printing out I also have a Pi Zero 2W here with Motion iOS on it pointing at the 3D printer so I can monitor it so let's switch that on Okay, so I can see it printing in the garage, so I know everything's working fine. Let's try that smart plug and see what it's currently using. Oh, 301 watts. That's more than I thought it was going to be. I'd read that a lot of them were going to be 70 watts. Ah, okay, so it fluctuates. Yeah, 46.38. Maybe it's a certain part of what it does that it needs to go that high. Okay, so you can see there it goes from around about 46 to 306. So I guess you have to take it as an average and hopefully the smart plug will be able to work all that out. So a little update now, you can see it's taking shape now. It's uh, starting to print out the whole base and it's used 45 watt hours at the moment. So I pay uh, a peak rate. So in the day I pay 35p per kilowatt hour. So when that gets to a thousand, that'll have cost me 35p. And at this stage, we're 25 minutes in. I love watching 3D printers print out. Okay, so eight and a half hours in, 90%. You can see it pretty much looks like it's done. There's not an awful lot more to do on there. And if we have a look at the iPad, it is showing 312 watts at the moment, but it's used 859 watt hours. So it's still less than 35p. When it gets to 1000, it'll be 35p. So I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, so that's finished. Looks like it's done a pretty good job. Happy with that. So print time was nine hours, 12 minutes and 50 seconds. So I'm very pleased with these three prints so far. So it's for the Pi 400 
uh, but I've got a few more bits to print out. I'm surprised because I didn't have to do anything to the printer. Uh, all I did was just clean the bed with some isopropyl and uh, yeah, all, th all three of these have worked first time with no issues at all. Okay, so the total power used by my 3D printer today was 923 watt hours and uh, you can see it's currently switched off because I didn't want it to use any more. I don't know when it actually ended. I went in and the fan was going, so it's, it's probably gonna be a little bit less than that, but not very much. So if I go to a calculator, you can see on here, so energy consumed, I've got 0.923 kilowatts. The cost that I pay for my electricity is 35.78p uh, at peak rate. And so that's cost me just over 33 pence. So it's a lot less than I thought it was. When I put it on before, I really thought it was gonna be quite considerably more than that. Obviously I've got to pay for the filament, but filament is pretty cheap. I'll put a link in the description to filament. And it only used something like 66 or 69 grams. Uh, so not very much, uh, even though it was quite a large piece. Uh, but there'll be a video in the future when I've finished it uh, I'll show it with the Pi 400 in it and play around with it. Maybe I'll check the uh, consumption of more things in future videos as well because I quite enjoy that plug. If you want to check out the printer, it got sent to me by Elegu a while ago. I've got this video which basically goes through my setup and, uh, and how you can use it. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.